it's so fun looking. Hello and good morning to a new vlog. Thanks for joining me, I'm Brittany. Uh, this week in the vlog is going to be all fall things. Um, got my like fall coffee and I'm going to be decorating for fall here in the Illinois house. And I think I'm going to be trying some of the Starbucks fall drinks. I definitely have like a predisposed favorite. Let me know your favorite down in the comments. And I think I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to show you a little bit of our property here in Illinois. Uh, we're continually doing work to it, so it's kind of an ongoing project here. I really appreciate you joining me for another week. And if you're just now finding this, please hit the subscribe button. I make vlogs and release them every Friday uh, from the past week in my life. And we do some fun things here. I travel a lot. I spend half my year in Orlando, so there's going to be a lot of Disney content. And also just a whole bunch of holiday content. Uh, later on in another couple months, I'll be doing Vlogmas. And I would love to have you here. So I am going to, I think, finish my coffee and then head out on the property and show you some of the work that we're getting done today. Okay, so we're out here uh, on the back half of our property. So we have six acres here in Illinois and through the years, um, this property has been in my family for several generations and then I bought it from the estate when my grandmother passed away, probably uh, four to five years ago at this point. Uh, you can see over here against the field that there's still quite a few of invasives. We have been working with like an arborist out here to kind of restore it to the way like Southern Illinois woodlands should be. You can see that this tree over here has been tagged, but you can see that the the damage some of the vines have, have done to these trees and just how resilient they are. Like you can... You can see here how this one's kind of dug in here. So, yeah. I mean, this isn't a nature channel, so you're not going to get actual actual vegetation advice from me. I'm just kind of documenting it for you because this is kind of what we do up here. It's our little it's our little country estate. I'll show you kind of a a little bit more later on. We rented a brush cutter. And so on this side, which hasn't had near the vegetation manipulation done to it, uh, we're going to run the brush cutter in because it all needs to be taken down so the invasives don't get worse over the winter and through the spring. And then we will come back in the spring and then start spraying the under vegetation. So hopefully it'll look similar to this side. This is our pond. It's uh, really uh, scummed over right at, the, right at the moment because they, uh, over here, you can see kind of a little inlet from the field. Um, about two years ago, the farmer that owns this went and made a ditch into our pond um he's honestly um a millionaire if not a billionaire There's, we simply just couldn't do anything about it i mean there wasn't a there wasn't an attorney in kind of our county that would essentially take the the job so we put up a uh, some you know screening to hopefully like help the runoff but this is what happens whenever they whenever they harvest and it's not really much we can do about it so i just got done with having a little bit of lunch just some like leftovers today and um brad's out in the field 
uh, working on the clearing that I mentioned. So I think I am going to decorate for fall. I think a lot of it's going to be like a montage, but I'll show you some of like the before and afters too. So I just started decorating and uh, I found our fall decor crate. I've limited myself to like one crate through the years. Um, just because we're never here that long in the fall. I just, I don't know. I love decorating for fall. I actually think I like it more than Christmas, but I just don't enjoy it long enough to make it worth it. I did forget I have these. Isn't that like the funnest stuff? Like whenever you like pull out your decorating crates and uh, you don't realize what you had. So a lot of these bags in here are for the mantle that I decorate. And I'll show you a montage of that. And then I put on Muppets Haunted Mansion to uh, to kind of watch while I decorate a little bit. It's pretty fun. I love changing out signs. Like now I have this one up, but which I got at Aldi's and it's like dual sided. So really fun. I really wish it was like dual sided fall and Christmas. Doesn't that make more sense than putting like both sides are fall? Then you'd only have to have like one sign. I'm not sure why they don't make them like that. So let's get the decorating. So I'm done with the mantle. It didn't take too long, maybe 20 minutes or so. I think the trick to good like garland and stuff is lots of different like elements. I just really think it like makes your makes your eye interested and like you can look at it several times and still see like different elements. And I've accumulated all these usually half price at Hobby Lobby through the years. This leaf garland, I got it like dollar general uh one year so it's just cheap so your base can be cheap my christmas garland is really just plain i think it came from like walmart but the trick is just dressing it up with lots of different elements So now I'm going to show you a little bit of the the after. This is the side that was like all overgrown, so obviously quite the difference here. This is the position that I filmed before. You can see that this is this is a lot clearer more in here. It's definitely cleaner. It's a lot later in the week. It's actually Thursday and I'm getting ready to run some errands. It is property tax time up here, so I gotta go pay that. And uh, I have a whole bunch of donations in the back of my car for, um, for, you know, a community 
thrift place around here. And let's see here, what other stuff? I gotta like run to the store and grab just a couple things because we are leaving the Illinois homestead property tomorrow I believe and always have to like kind of wrap up some stuff before we get on the road. I thought I'd take you along with me today and before I wrap up this vlog I forgot that I didn't really show you too much of the property up here so I might do like a little bit of like a house tour. But uh, I need to get going yeah, because I'm afraid like I gotta run to the DMV and I think they close for lunch, so. I have paid the car registration. Uh, we always have to like do that when we're back here. It seems like it just kind of compounds. Like we, you forget about it and then like all of them are due. Uh, how much is it where you are? Here it's, in Illinois, it's 150 roughly. Which is like okay. I know in Colorado it's pretty expensive because it depends on like the price of your vehicle. Which I actually think is like totally fair. Uh, I think that's like a really fair way to do it instead of like everybody pays the same amount. I think that's also okay. Now I'm like off to pay like property taxes. Which is always like so like icky. I like to pay them in person. I know you can like go to the bank and like pay them. But I like to pay them in person and really I don't have a bank here. Um, so it's really not any different than to just like go into the building and pay them. There's, <laughs> it's a really small town, so there's never like any line or anything. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to head off to like Walmart and grab some really boring stuff and mail quarterlies. So we have a couple businesses that we run i only do like the quarterlies and such for like one of them one of them is like an s corp and one of them's a c corp i don't get like too into it now but like i would do a c corp and just keep it that way like you know just a normal normal corporation i would never file for like the s corp again um that's gonna like depend on like each person and their business and how they like to run their like finances and stuff. There's obviously advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, but that's just my two cents about it. Uh, okay. So let's go because I'm hoping to get some like Thai food for lunch and they close early. Like they close between like lunch and dinner. So definitely got to hit them around lunchtime. To say that I have quite a few donations, I think, is kind of an under, understatement. So, all of this, uh, all of this is going. So, hope it goes to a good home. Look where we're at. I thought we'd try a couple of the fall drinks. So, the reason why I'm not trying all of the fall Starbucks items is really I'm not that crazy about fall flavors <laughs> I know that's not the most popular opinion right there uh, but I will try all of the Christmas ones because I think the Christmas flavors oh the Starbucks Christmas menu slaps it is I love it mmm mmm sugar cookie latte mmm but, uh, so I'm just going to try a couple today and yeah, it, I'm, I'm sure they'll be good. One of them's like, I made a custom concoction and then another one I just ordered off the menu. So I will pull over whenever I get them. I, uh, I have the concoctions here. Okay. This one is the one I ordered off the menu. It's just a, uh, Grande, uh, let me get my phone. Hold on. Okay, so this one is the one that I ordered off the menu, and it's an iced apple crisp oat milk macchiato. Ooh. Oh, I really like it. This is fantastic. Yeah, so this is just the normal one off the menu. It really helps that it's just normally made with the Blonde Espresso. I prefer the Blonde Espresso, but 
I can never think to like add it. Sometimes in the app I'll remember, but in store I never remember. Oh, this is really good. It's totally like apple fritter vibes. Oh, I would drink this year round. Very fall, really, really like it. 10 out of 10. Okay, so if this next one's bad, it's kind of my fault because I customized something on the menu. It was inspired by the featured fall menu item, the pumpkin cream cold brew, but I hate, hate Starbucks's cold brew. I think it's the, is disgusting. It's so gross. So I customized one kind of inspired by it. So that's this one. And I don't know if it's coming across how beautiful it is. It's, oh, the pumpkin cream is like kind of weeping down into the cup and it's beautiful. Okay, so this one, it's an iced toasted vanilla shaken espresso. And I got it with non-fat milk instead of oat milk because the other one already had like oat milk. So I was like, let's do a different, let's do a different milk. I took down the toasted vanilla. This, a normal iced toasted vanilla shaken espresso has four pumps of toasted vanilla and that was going to be way too sweet with the cold foam so i did two pumps of toasted vanilla so this is iced toasted vanilla shaken espresso non-fat milk blonde espresso two pumps toasted vanilla syrup and then i added the pumpkin cream cold foam, which by the way is like a dollar 25 extra. So it's kind of like a big, big upgrade. So I don't really like drinking out of these like holes, but I feel like that to get the cold foam essence, you have to, I like it. It's mild. It's really mild. The toasted vanilla syrup out shines the pumpkin cream cold foam. So I might like try to get my straw here and not drip coffee all over the car and like see if I can taste some of the foam on itself. Okay. I would add the pumpkin cold foam to almost anything. It's really mild. It's actually really, really good. Just a just mild hint of the pumpkin spice flavor. This is good. I would maybe just get an ice, a plain ice latte and just add the cold foam. This is still almost too sweet for me. Um, but yeah, I, maybe a seven out of 10, pretty good. All right, that's it for our outings. I am going to head back home and I will, um, I'm going to give you kind of a, a walkthrough of like the house. Hey, so it's the next morning. I promised you a little bit of a house tour and last night everything was like a mess. So I thought I'd do it this morning before we got on the road. Uh, so this is the door to the garage and then we're gonna go down the stairs into the basement. And we refinish these stairs they were covered in carpet for years. And this is this was like a concrete basement wall that we put this like paneling on. And this railing, this is just galvanized pipe right here. But this is actually like outdoor patio railing that our contractor had left over. And I was like, what's something cheap we can put here? And he's like, I have these three that are useless. <laughs> And so he, uh, he gave them to us. Okay, so the basement floor is just like that a cheap epoxy. You can't get any, you know, cheaper or more durable flooring than that. Um, and then we made this light. You can't see it too well, uh, but it's our pool table light. And this pool table is actually hand built by my grandfather. Uh, then we just like spray painted the basement ceiling. I will tell you it was such a pain. I would do it again, but gosh, I'd probably pay somebody to do it. It was like a really big pain. Um, yeah. 
And so this is just kind of like leftover furniture down here. I don't, you know, really think like too many people like care. But then uh, these cabinets, let me like show you how this looks. So you come down into the basement and this is what a guest would see. And I think most guests would assume that this is just storage. We keep these locked up. And as you've seen, uh, the one on the left is our liquor cabinet, but this one on the right opens and it's actually our closet. I'm not gonna show you like too much cause it's like a mess in here. Um, but this is like where we store all of our personal stuff. And I think it's really nice because no one would know that that was there. Then we have just a small half bath here and then our laundry room. And then back over on this side is like the unfinished part of the basement. Okay, so this is more of the formal living room space. It does seem where guests hang out, but my family actually prefers the more casual living room. So, and all the pictures on the wall are from trips that we've taken. Probably should update some of them now that we've taken even more trips, but it's just really nice to display your own photos. All right, in like an earlier decor decorating clip, I think you might have you might have seen this, but this is like our fireplace room. My family loves to hang out out here. It's really cozy, especially in the winter whenever the fireplace is going. Then this is the master bath. I always like to show off the shower because I tiled it myself, so I feel pretty proud of it. And I think, and I think that will be it for this like house tour and this vlog. Really appreciate you following along with me for my week. And next week we will be back in Florida. Uh, might be some theme park content, might be some house updates, but some stuff like that. So thanks again. Uh, I'll be back next Friday with a new vlog. Bye!